Coronary artery disease is narrowing of the coronary arteries secondary to several risk factors, some of which are cigarette smoking, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes. Percutaneous coronary intervention, or PCI, is a procedure used to treat and evaluate partially and completely occluded coronary vessels. Atherosclerosis results from endothelial injury, inflammation, and accumulation of lipoprotein, leading to entomal deposition of particles and narrowing of the coronary artery. The stenotic vessel makes it difficult for red blood cells to pass through. Therefore, the risk of ischemia and infarction is increased. During a percutaneous coronary intervention, an incision is made to isolate the femoral artery. A catheter is inserted into the artery and guided up the aorta to the heart. Live angiography is used to guide the catheter to the obstructed coronary artery. Radiopaque dye is injected into the artery. Imaging determines the location of the stenosis and the diameter of the vessel. Once the vessel is isolated and the obstruction located, a guide wire is threaded through the catheter to the location. The catheter is removed, leaving the guide wire. A balloon catheter is pushed over the guide wire and centered over the blockage. The balloon is inflated to open the narrowed vessel. The balloon is inflated and deflated multiple times to gradually widen the occluded vessel. To ensure that the artery remains unobstructed, a second balloon catheter with a stent is threaded to the location. The balloon is inflated, expanding the stent. For some patients, Drug-eluting stents are used to decrease the chances of instant stenosis. Drug-eluting stents are coated with a material that will retard new entomal hyperplasia. Blood flow through the coronary artery is restored.